we will create now a new component to join Redux and React and we will start and use this global state that is the combination of our reducers and the initial state from the constants so let's do it into the components we create a new file that is called Redux provider JSX perfect we will import of several things many things in fact we will import react from react we will import the provider from react redux we will import the possibility to create a store this one from redux and import the constants player x and values i think player zero we are not going to use it from constants constants are in the upper folder so constants now we have the provider the possibility to create the store we need also as i said the global state global state from the redu reducers 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 okay i think that is almost everything we have to create now export default class redux provider that extends react dot component and it has a constructor that calls supper as always with the props well this is more or less the, the structure you can copy it if you have another example from another project but in this case I wrote it the initial state how is our initial state well we have values that are from the constants the values and the turn that is player x so our initial state is like that and we are going to create the store sorry that is create a store and receives the global state and the initial state so this is the constructor of our redox provider component and we just need to render as always as, as all the components does th this will render what will it render well it will return a provider no sorry a provider component this is a component that i'm not doing because it is from react redux npm package this component by definition because they have defined it like this receives the store and it has a child that is our app like that in fact if we want if we want to occupy the whole page a good idea would be to add an a wrapping diff with a style saying let me try like this hate slash 100% remember that you can add styles inside and I move it here you can add styles inside the components directly like this so what did we, what we did it, we created a new redux provider component with many imports well I, th I see now that we have used up here and we haven't imported import app from okay with many imports if you missed any import the application will tell you that doesn't know how to resolve a constant or whatever or a component we have the constructor and we have the render method that renders the provider with a store a div and our app here 
we have now to modify our app because our app is like this, it has a state, it has the functionality and we have to modify it to integrate it with Redux because that functionality went to the reducers. So now we have our provider here and inside our app what we have to do in the first place is to use again uh, the Redux, React Redux library with this connect method to connect React and Redux. We don't have a state, remember that now everything comes as props where from Redux. Our app will receive the props and will render them. So we don't have functionality, we don't have initial state, we only receive new props. How do we do that? Well, we have to create here a function map state to props. This function receives the state and will return will return the props, the corresponding props, state.values and turn with state.turn. And in the future, if there are more parts of our state, we will have to integrate them here. This function is what we are going to export. Export default connect. And this function, map state to props, and as a param, our app. We are not going to export our app anymore, but this new component that the, com the connect method returns. So the connect method that we imported it here from React Redux receives a function that maps the state to a props, to props and the, our app. And we return a new component that will be the one that receives app here, uh, the Redux provider. The other changes that we have to do here are to uh, exp and dispatch the action, the corresponding action, how do we do that? Well, we have a dispatch functionality here. We will be able, instead of creating our functionality here, we will dispatch the action. Redux will perform the changes in the state and we will receive new props. So everything will be much simpler. Now here, there is no functionality. This is, these are like very thin components, as we saw. So the dispatch will have to dispatch apply position action with row index, column index, and the term. This props term, the, the term comes in the props, not in the state. Another change is that we don't have state here, but props. And also here, we don't have state anymore, but props, sorry, props. So we change these props to, to uh, sorry, this state to these props everywhere. And finally, we dispatch and we need to import this play position. Import play position from actions. So we can use it here. So you can see that our component is much thinner. It only has props. It calls a dispatch when something happens and we have this map state to props and we use the connect method from React Redux. Okay, let's continue. Finally, what we have to do is to render this Redux provider component because index.js remember that rendered our app and now 
our app is inside the Redux provider. So we have to take this Redux provider and render it. We save the file and start the server just to see if there is an error in any component. If everything is working, we will have the same interface as before and working with the events and everything. And we have all integrated React and Redux. Thank you.